First off, get your pan on and start sweating off your onions and your garlic. This recipe involves making the meatballs in a classic way. And it gives a really nice new dimension to a sort of soft, rich, sumptuous meatball. Chop the onion nice and finely, keeping those slices very close together. The closer the slices, the finer the onion. Pat it back down at an angle, slice down, and just chop. I want the onions nice and fine because I want some finesse to these meatballs. And the secret of a really good meatball is the texture, getting that balance right between the minced beef, the breadcrumbs, the milk, and the seasoning. A couple of cloves of garlic. Slice the garlic really nice and thinly. Nice. Pan, nice and hot. And a tablespoon of olive oil. Quite generous with the olive oil. Onions and garlic in. A little touch of salt and pepper. With your mince, open it up a little bit and sort of pat it out. Salt and pepper. For me, a good meatball is all about the, the softness, the texture of that rich beef and the way it sort of melts in your mouth. You can colour it on the outside, but you want it nice and soft and sort of rich in the centre. Mix that in beautifully and then paste it back out again. I've got some really nice dried chilli flakes. I'm going to season the onions with the chilli flakes. Chilli flakes in. Cook that out for two minutes. I'm going to add some milk. Take your breadcrumbs, make a little well, three or four tablespoons of milk. That makes a sort of nice, slightly doughy texture, but it lightens the texture of the meatball. Place that in. Add your onions, your garlic, and your chili in there as well. Nice. Get your hands in there and start mixing them. If you've got the right amount of milk and breadcrumbs, it doesn't need binding with an egg. Don't make them too small. The problem with making them too small is the fact that they dry out quickly. Just the size of a golf ball. A little bit bigger. Nice. Give them a really nice tight squeeze. That stops it from breaking up. It always pays to double the recipe and spend a bit more time making extra meatballs so you can freeze a batch ready for another time. Give the pan a little wipe out. Don't wash out that pan. We've got that flavour from the onions and the garlic at the bottom. Get that pan nice and hot. A touch of olive oil in there. Place them at the top of your pan. Nice and gently sit them in the oil. Get a palette knife and go underneath them and just sort of tilt the pan and let the pan cook the back of the meatball. 